Hey everybody, it's the fuzzy one here to do our first viewer submitted request. And that request was to build, I believe it was, and I quote, a monster killing thingy. So to meet that criteria, I am going to create an XP farm out of this here zombie spawner. Now after many deaths and many hours, I finally found one in this ridiculously massive cave system. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is get all this mossy cobble because it's a rather uncommon block that I'd like to use later on. Oh dear god, I accidentally killed all the torches. So after getting these zombies killed and relighting this zombie spawner, we're going to go about building our XP farm slash zombie trap. Let me get this thing relit before I die. Okay. So, first things first, get all the mossy cobble. Next thing is I'm going to want to make a 7x7 seven seven room. And what that's going to do is allow for water to push all of our zombies into a central location and move them up our water elevator. Yep, that's right, a water elevator. I am going to be using a free fall system to bring our zombies damn near death, which will make it that much easier to farm. So, remove mossy cobble step one. Create seven by seven room step two. Okay. So, we have built our 7x7 seven seven room with our cube in the middle. I have a little room over here with those two chests that you saw for some storage, a workbench to make the things that I need, and an infinite water supply with three blocks. Because we're making a water elevator, we're going to need some water. So, the next part of this project is going to be creating the elevator. And for that, pick a random wall. I choose you, Pikachu. So we're gonna make a wall. Ooh, more cobble. We're gonna make a even more cobble. Intriguing. Okay. So uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to drop that there. Create that. So we're gonna make a two wide hole. But the first thing we're going to do is place our water sources. So that way we can see where the water is going and how far down we need to make that little tunnel. So the idea here is you want to force the water to make your zombies go to where you want. So, as you can see, they're all being forced to right here. Even from here. Yes, perfect. But they're not quite being forced down into our little hallway right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is knock out that block, that block, that block, and that block, and this block, and look, we have a nice little flowing tunnel. So anywhere in this room that these zombies spawn, they're going to spawn, they're going to get bounced around, and then shoved into our little tunnel. So we're going to keep going with this tunnel until we reach the point where the water stops. Which is right here. So, they're going to get shoved down this tunnel all the way to right here. I'm going to block off this tunnel. And now, here is where the water elevator comes into play. For this water elevator, you're going to need 11 signs. Basically, you're going to sandwich the pools of water between the signs like so. Sign number one. And then you're going to have water. I have some water. Aha! Water. So, sign number one, then water. Then, I'm going to block all of this off. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me jump back in before I jump. Block it off. Okay. So, there you go. And then, after this one, we're going to get our signs back in use, get our water bucket ready to use, pick those up later. We're going to put a sign right here, sign number two. And on 
top of that a water block. So that way they can constantly jump all the way up. Alrighty, so I am now standing at the top of my water elevator. And to make it a little bit more compact, what I want to do is actually bring it back the way that we came. And to do that, we're going to basically just make some tunnels here that the water will push our zombies down, kind of like before. <clears throat> but if I stop where the water stops, this time I'll be dropping them straight down on top of the machine, or rather the spawning point that we just found. So to compensate for that, oh no, I don't have it. I am going to use two water conveyors back to back. Unfortunately for this, I need a pressure plate, which I thought I had on me, uh, but I must have accidentally put it in the chest down here. So I'm going to go get a pressure plate and then finish this project. Do do do! Pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. Where are you? I made one. I know I did. Where did it go? Vanished. Ah, <sighs> Bob Humbug. Okay, I'll just make a new one. No big deal. Oh, that's why, because I accidentally made a slab, not a pressure plate. Good job. I need to get all that stuff out of my inventory. So, you may be asking yourself, what's with the pressure plate? Why, why do I not want a pressure plate? Well, the reason we use the pressure plate is so the water doesn't flow back down the tunnel. We want all of the zombies to be pushed in one direction constantly. So, the water stops flowing here, there's no incentive for them to keep going further. And if I put a water right here, then they'll get stuck in the middle. But, what I can do is put a pressure plate right there. They can walk right on by it. And then when I stick some water, it won't flow into the pressure plate. Pretty cool, huh? So, we're going to continue this tunnel until it stops. So once the water stops, that's where we will tunnel down. And we will tunnel down to the same level as our spawner was so that way they fall the prerequisite distance to be very 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 close to death do, do, do. oh look I'm right here on my chest so that chest is going to be exactly where our zombies are going to fall so zombies spawn in here get pushed down here jump up into the water elevator, get pushed all the way down the tunnel, and then fall to that exact spot that we just made. There we will gather them up, slaughter them for their XP, for their loots, and for Demacia. Kudos if you understand the Demacia reference. Last thing I'm going to do is block in this little section here, so that way Nothing gets in it, no creepers spawn, no random monsters that will destroy my creation. And then I really don't want to fall down that hole, because it'll kill me. So I'm going to go back down this way. So I've created the room for the spawner, I've created the water elevator, I've created the channel to bring them to our drop point, and I've found the drop point last thing left to do is create a little room where the zombies will be gathered and slaughtered for your XP. Okie doke. So, came back into the spot where our ch uh, crafting bench, excuse me, was, which was right here. I have created a little pedestal here for our zombies to fall down on. This should prevent them from hitting us. We'll have to wait and see. So the only thing left to do is come back in here, place our water tiles, water tiles placed. Remove the torch. 
Get into the correct side and block our zombies inside. Ah. Let's go ahead and light this room so we can actually see it. Let's see here. I'm going to block off this space right here. Let's see if any zombies are spawning. Ooh, they are. Alright, so the zombies are spawning. They're going down there. Hopefully they'll start jumping. And when they do, the trap will be set. Wah ha ha. So, I had some glass, I was thinking maybe we could do a little window out here to see the fruits of our labor. Do you see any zombies going up yet? Hmm. I don't think I do. Do you see any zombies falling? No. Hmm. I guess we will. I am a little bit worried because we didn't put the uh, elevator on the exact point where the water ended and they may not be inclined to jump because of that. So I'm going to give this a little bit. If they don't start spawning, I'm going to say that's probably my mistake. Fix that and get right back to the final finish product. Zombie flesh, as far as the eye can see. Well, <laughs> I must say that I definitely feel like a little bit of a noob. Uh, because I had the elevator portion of our machine set up just after the water, the zombies weren't inclined to jump. And as we all know, white men can't jump, and neither can zombies if they aren't in water. So that defeated the entire purpose of the water elevator, but we're going to try... Ah, uh, there you go! Yes, oh my god! Oh my god, so we just had a zombie go up the water elevator. Hopefully, in a moment's time, he will fall down here and be ripe for the picking. Now all I have to do is wait. Playing the waiting. By the way, the waiting game is a game that I really really, really suck at. Oh my god, where are the zombies? Come on, I just saw another one spawn. Go up the tunnel, up it, up, up, up. Yes, there he goes. Alright, so, the idea is, zombies spawn in room A. Get pushed into elevator B. Go across ceiling C. Down pipe D into collection pipe system me. Ooh! Ah! Ah! Zombies! Oh my god! Oh my god! Zombies! Ooh, look at that. So easy. And look at that. Already level 12. Oh yeah. Mm, I bet if I played around with the lighting in this room, slash took out this window, I could probably get more zombies to spawn a little bit more quickly, but all in all, not too bad. Probably tweak it a little bit here and there. Definitely add some aesthetics, but for now, this is the fuzzy one. This is my zombie killing XP farm, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so I know I said I'll see you guys next time, but eh, one thing was kind of bugging me, and that was my zombie XP farm might have been working just fine, but personally, that thing looked like crap. So I went back in, definitely gave it a huge aesthetic boost, and those are the screenshots that you are looking at now. One of the things that you may notice is that I went ahead and added another portal for quick transit between there and my actual base. The only problem with that is, where the hell am I going to put the nether portal in my base? I think that's going to go ahead and be my next project. So. In the meantime, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment so I know what to build on my next viewer submitted project. Thank you guys, and again, that's all I have for now. See you next time.